The number of casualties continues to climb following yesterday's attacks in Somalia's port city of Kismayo. Reports that a suicide car bomber and gunman stormed a popular hotel ahead of a political meeting. Extremist militant group Al Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the terror attack that has killed at least 26 people, including a prominent Canadian journalist and her husband. Horan Nalea called Toronto home, a mother of two who spent most of her life here in Canada, but most recently relocated back to Somalia to share the stories about a country she loves so much with the rest of the world. In her final days, Hodan Nalea showed off the beauty that is Kismayo. Nothing out of the ordinary for the media veteran who made it her mission to share stories from the East African country you wouldn't hear about, often showing a Somalia not seen on TV. Hodan's um, most powerful, I, I think, uh, stories were the ones where she went to where your typical camera didn't go. Community leader and activist Mohammed Sofa met Hodan in her hometown of Toronto years ago when she started Integration TV, an online platform dedicated to connecting the Somali diaspora through storytelling. We are actually in the outskirts of beautiful Somalia, Kismayo, and we're going to have an organic, healthy lunch. Within just a few years, the 42-year-old had racked up tens of thousands of viewers and followers from all around the world, eager to watch her latest adventure. She wanted to show people how connected they are without knowing. And through the stories, um, I think that's where this is a little emotional because that's who she was and her journey was. Today, Integration TV posted a tribute to her and her husband, Fareed Jama Suleiman, saying she leaves behind her two children, 11 siblings and parents. Quote, she died serving the Somali community everywhere and doing what she loved most. She brought inspiration and hope to the Somali people through storytelling. She will be deeply missed. When you have a camera in Somalia, you attract a lot of attention. Salam alaikum. Oh. <laughs> Sofa says Hodan relocated back to Somalia this past October and had also built a school in the northern part of the nation. For those who knew and loved her, anger that her two young kids lost their mother, that a community has lost a beacon, and that the world has lost a humanitarian. You get angry and, and you, you know that there's a lot of work to be done. And, and this is where just a sense of urgency has to come and we have to start acting on, on ending the senseless violence. How do you think that Hudan will be remembered? I think she's in that legacy of, of heroes in, in, in the Somali uh, stories. She's going to be remembered as a brave soul with lots of uh, creative spirit, unapologetic view of her people and, and country, uh, and willingness to have bring the people together, the bond uh, of the Somali. Hodan's show also aired on our Rogers sister station, Omni Television, between 2016 and 2017. Today, a spokesperson from the station said they were deeply saddened and shocked to hear about this tragic news, saying Hodan was hardworking, dedicated, and always strived to make the world a better place.